A living donor transplant is a procedure to remove a piece of healthy liver from a living donor and transplant it to a person with a diseased liver. During a partial hepatectomy, a piece of healthy liver will be removed from the donor. To begin, an incision will be made in the abdomen. First, the surgeon will remove the gallbladder. This is because the gallbladder is attached to the piece of liver that will be removed. Next, the right side of the liver will be divided down to the main blood vessels and bile duct. They will be tied off and divided as well. Then the right side of the liver will be removed. At the end of the procedure, the surgeon will place a drainage tube in your abdomen and the incision will be closed with dissolvable stitches under the skin. The procedure to transplant the donated liver will begin with an incision in the recipient's abdomen. The surgeon will divide the blood vessels and bile duct attached to the diseased liver. Then, the diseased liver will be removed. Next, the healthy donor liver will be attached to the recipient. At the end of the procedure, the surgeon will place a drainage tube in the abdomen, and the incision will be closed with staples. After the procedure, the recipient will need to take anti-rejection medication. It will keep the immune system from rejecting the liver. Over time, the recipient's new liver, as well as the donor's remaining liver, will regrow. It takes about two months for most of the liver to regrow.